Daniel had been talking these tubs up like no other. They're the next best things in sliced bread. And I'm telling you what. So do I give these uh, tubs a thumbs up or a thumbs down? <laughs> You'll find out. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. First, I'm going to show you guys putting this water nipple on my automatic water for the little pigs. Um, you guys can see if you watch my video uh, from yesterday, the day before, you will, you would see I put a new automatic feeder in here. And they couldn't figure it out for like five minutes. And as soon as I turned the camera off, they figured it out. Pigs are smarter than you think. Um, but I'm going to show you guys putting this water nipple on. And then I'm going to talk to you guys about Arms Family Homesteads. Little magical red self wicking do it yourself tubs. I'm gonna tell you guys the hidden truth about it, and I'm just gonna walk over there and we're gonna talk and we're gonna show. I'm gonna show you what's going on with them. Uh, if you guys get a chance, before I get off on Daniel too much, he is so close to 100,000 subscribers, he's like 2,000 away. So if you guys are not familiar with Daniel, go over there and check out one of his videos. I'll put, I'll put a card up here. You guys check out that video and tell him I sent you over there and tell him congratulations on the 100,000 subscribers. Very much deserved. Daniel has put a lot of time and effort into his channel. Um, sacrifice, staying up late. I mean, just like, just like, just like me, we work full-time jobs and, uh, it, and it's not easy all the time posting videos and getting them out there whenever you need uh, whenever you need to so tell him thank you and tell him i sent you over there and daniel i appreciate you buddy and uh, congratulations on 100,000 subscribers i was the first one to tell you <laughs> but let's hook this pig stuff up those pigs so smart i could just sit there and watch pigs all day long do their thing uh, but i got them all set up ready to go um, like i said before i'm going to be out of town for a day or two um, so i just want to make my wife and kids life just a little bit easier uh, all you gotta do is get here and make sure there's food in the automatic stuff uh, food and water and there will be so down to these magical red do-it-yourself self-wicking tubs that Daniel has been talking so much about um, from Gardening with Leon. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Gardening with Leon, I don't know where you guys been the last couple months, but he is doing awesome on his YouTube channel. He actually is the one who hooked me up uh, with these self-wicking tubs. Um, he had them ready to go. He had them filled up and ready. All I had to do was plant in there. And you can see they're doing awesome. Um, so the hidden secret behind these tubs Maybe not, maybe I stretched the truth just a little bit. Maybe it's not that big of a hidden secret. Maybe it's not even a secret at all. But what I'm telling you is when uh, when Daniel talks about these tubs and he put a video out that's got like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views on doing these tubs. He did like 18, 20 of them um, and they are doing awesome in his garden. Uh, he sends me little Snapchats and stuff like that about them and they're doing great. Um, what I do with mine is I got five of them. Garden with Leon. Go check out Garden with Leon. Leon is awesome. Um, he knows his stuff. The proof is in the pudding. I'm telling you right now. Um, I wish I would have took video of this. I've been wanting to do this uh, this video for a while. Uh, I wish I would have took video of his um, greenhouses and his tubs. It, the hidden truth is these are no there's no comparison to planting your your garden in the ground compared to these when you do it the way Leon does. Now. Um, 
whenever he showed, he's like, hey, he's like, Dutch, let me show you this before you leave. Because I didn't get a chance to tour the whole place, but he's like, you got to see this. Um, he went, he, he took me over there on his golf cart, showed me his greenhouse, and on the same day, he planted like 100 tomatoes in the ground in his greenhouse. And on, in, in that same day, he planted like 100 tubs. I mean, it was crazy. It's probably like 40 tubs, 50, 100, I don't know. And it was a bunch. And the comparison was no comparison at all. Um, the ones on the ground were maybe like this tall and the ones in his self wicking tubs were like like this tall like four times the size it was amazing i never seen anything like it uh, on, on the same day comparison um, of planting hey gabby gabby's over here wanting to hang out um it was just amazing and uh, he's probably got some i know he's got some videos out on that so go check out gardens leon also um and, and go check out these self wicking tubs he has um i mean they're pretty much you could say dummy proof, but we'll say Dutch proof because uh, if, if it could be messed up, I'm telling you, I've done it before. I could mess things up in a hurry. And there is nothing to mess these things up. They're doing awesome. I actually planted, I'm just doing shout outs today. Just shout outs for everybody. <laughs> it's so humid out here right now. It's crazy. Um, but I, I actually did a, uh, a garden. Uh, uh, I actually did a salsa garden this year with these tubs but with the exception with my garlic. Um, Mark and Tina from Bumblebee Junction. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Mark and Tina, they got one of the best gardens on YouTube um, that I've seen with raised beds and everything. But Mark and Tina sent me some garden. You can't see the garden. All right, you know, it's been, it's been raining and flooding here in Oklahoma, yes. And I got weeds like Noah. That's the reality of homesteading uh, whenever you work a full-time job. Sometimes you just don't got time to tend to the weeds. I gotta get that done though. I finally got a day off today to do things and that wasn't on the list uh but i do have garlic in there you look check this out yeah i mean it is growing big time it's not yet it's not ready to harvest um but it's getting there it's getting there really close um but if you guys get a chance go check out bumblebee junction tell tina happy birthday today is tina's birthday tina happy birthday from my family to you hope you have a great great day tina and have mark take you out to a nice dinner tell them dutch said take me out to a nice dinner no no not arby's or the dollar menu mark take her out to the texas roadhouse or something like that you know yeah i'm a big ou fan but i'll tell you what texas roadhouse is awesome i don't know if you guys have that in your area or not but uh we love texas roadhouse anyways tina happy birthday hope you have a great day so back to these back to these tubs now daniel has been talking these tubs up like no other they're, they're the next best thing since sliced bread i'm telling you what i'm 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 liking i'm liking the results let's, let's take a look at it literally all i did is plant it put the fertilizer in there that leon sent with me let's see here he sent me that it's actually time to start putting some of uh, uh, this other fertilizer that he put in the, this master blend he has it's time to put some in there he said once they started getting uh, some vegetables and, and flowering out um, it's time to put some of that in there but I got I already got I've got some little tomatoes for my salsa you can see over here right there and these peppers I actually planted these late so they're those aren't to do with the salsa those are just extra I have for the tub But you can see my jalapenos. I got a jalapeno right there. Looking really good. I got my plant of some late, late onions. So hopefully they'll make just enough so I can make a few cans of uh, salsa. Along with Mark's garlic over there. I know, you can't see it. So overall, these tubs are awesome. And if I could make a good salsa blend, I'll start doing my salsa garden out here. Uh, next year I'll plant them early. I'll get some garlic planted in there. Then I'll have everything ready for the salsa so that is my salsa garden you're looking at right there pretty cool I'm, I'm impressed all you do is plant them and forget them pretty much um, with all the rain we've been getting I can actually see some water down in there and, and there's a there's a little hole drainage so what you do with these uh, tubs there's they're self wicking tubs they got a you can see a, a white pipe that goes down in there there's another piece of uh, there's another piece of tubing in there that let's get this out there's another piece of tubing in there and you could go check out um, Daniel's video I either put it in there earlier or I'm gonna put it in here right now I'll put a video to his how to make these um, it's like I said it's got hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views I think uh, I think Leon sold like 700 tubs that day at the meetup uh, because they're that popular. People are loving these things and they're loving them because they work. So let's say the hidden truth is that there's no comparison. When you do it Leon's way, 
you get better results with these tubs than you do just in the ground. Now, I'm not saying everyone's gonna get those results, but if you follow Leon's instructions, do what he says to do, you're gonna have fantastic results. So, I guess they kind of are magical, aren't they? Ain't they, Daniel? <laughs> but go check out Daniel's video, how if you wanna make some of these tubs, you can go make them yourself. Um, actually, pretty easy to make, watching him do it. Like I said, uh, Leon already had these set up for me. But yeah, it's awesome. I can't wait um, to start making some homemade salsa. So if you guys have a salsa recipe that's really good, leave it down in the comment section below. Maybe I'll make it. We'll see. But let's check this out. I also did, we'll do, uh, so so A plus on the, on the self-wicking tubs that Daniel has turned everyone onto. Um, Leon invented these probably a long, long, long time ago. Um, but Daniel had, I got sweat going everywhere. Daniel has just put it on a platform where hundreds of thousands of people can see it um but i did a video let's do this let's do an update while i'm over here i did a video on a five dollar raised bed and let's see i've been getting the questions how's it doing how's it doing let's take a look at it so here's my five dollar raised bed okay now people said i may have over planted this i do have one pepper plant in here with two tomatoes um, i did put a little bit of feed on there um, and this is actually getting ready to produce some peppers and you can see this big old green tomato i got is doing awesome i got some little cherry or i got some little i think them some roman tomato i don't know i got some tomatoes over here too so the five dollar raised bed is doing awesome you can see maybe people just kind of doubted me and said that would never grow now this one right here i think the dogs tore that out so um, there was two pepper plants but now there's only one and it is getting ready to produce some peppers look at that i got tomatoes in my five dollar raised bed <laughs> That's what's up. So there, I've proven it. I've proven anybody could grow a garden in these tubs. And you could have a $5 raised bed just like that, and you can grow tomatoes, and even one bell pepper plant in there. So everything's looking good besides all the weeds. Forgive me for that. That's just kind of the reality of it. I'm not gonna hide it from you guys because I can't. Um, I'm too lazy to get out here today and pull these weeds, and they need to be pulled, no doubt about it. Um, my, my squash plants are doing awesome. Check, check out my squash. Now I'm telling you, this was weed free about two weeks ago, but I got some baby, I got some squash going in there. I'm impressed with my squash. I haven't grown squash in several years, and I actually, we love squash, and it's doing great. That one, for some reason, I don't know if there wasn't, I put fertilizer over here too, but you could just see the difference. And here's one thing, this could be it. I had my chicken tractor over here on this and it didn't get the tractor never really got moved to the front but all the chicken poop was right here so maybe that's i bet that's it um it has really increased that a lot you can see the difference between no chicken poop and lots of chicken poop um, but guys i'm gonna get off here hope you guys like the video of the little pigs and of my little salsa garden i got going on here um, i think it's gonna turn out great leon does, did a great job designing this these i don't know who ever invented it maybe it was leon i don't know but he did he does a great job and uh, i'm pretty happy i got five wish i got 10 now so next time i go down there i have to get some more um so it's pretty cool i'm excited for it i'm excited it actually works and it's very low maintenance and guess what there's no weeds in there all right y'all thanks for watching hope you liked this video if you did smash that like button and if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe right there you guys thanks so much for watching i really really do appreciate it i'll catch you on the next video